platform, Kingdom of Prussia. Before we start, remember that you can subscribe to this channel to get notified about all the future videos and obviously support us growing. Welcome back to the Chaotic Succession campaign. So a campaign, not a standard one. I'm playing every session, so every 30 years as a different nation. This is completely a different level of challenge and completely different level of fun. We started as the Ottomans, moved to Bohemia, to Papa State, Uzbek, Burgundy to Lotharingia, United States, Ethiopia and finally in the last episode we've played as Persia. I promise you to do another episode if you hit 4000 likes, we did that very easily in the previous video. So today we are gonna do another one, which is gonna be not in Asia, it's gonna be again in Europe, I will play as Brandenburg, I will try to break free from Bohemia and form Prussia, which is gonna be extremely hard, because we have to beat both Bohemia and Poland for that. There we go. Fun fact, I already recorded 20 years of this campaign and then it turned out that the recording is completely broken and I cannot use that, so I'm restarting the whole gameplay from the scratch. Alright, at least I know what's happening. We have one too many leaders, let me get rid of him and get air leader uh, pretty bad, free free. We have 7000 ducats, which is gonna be super useful and our independence is supported by Sweden, Lithuania and Poland. I'm gonna use them for this war. Let me take all the troops into one place, let me organize the troops uh, see that AI is building something let's not build more than one troop per province and uh, it's 12 percent professionals not much so let me take three leaders one two three ooh, 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 ooh. yes it's gonna be useful for the war let me get rid of the useless ones first and now with 50 of professions i can go and slack and fries and will spend my money on Mercs, it's gonna be independent company, it's gonna be grand company, and it's gonna be a free company. So we have 86,000 of troops for the war. Reorganize our policies, we don't really need diplomatic reputation as of now. We don't need the diplomatic reputation as of now. Later, I'm gonna take the discipline advisor, and for now, let me take the trade efficiency, production efficiency to work on our income, and most probably, I'm gonna focus on. On admin a little bit later. Also, we have out of money, so let me go and play level two advisors for each. I could have taken the discipline here, but this is fine. I could get a golden era, but we need five more of absolutes. So what if I go and increase it by five? I can do that very easily by changing this guarantee form to the absolutist one. I also have to revoke the tax meter later, but yeah, there is not that much of a rush with it. My Mercs are sitting on Brunswick. Look at my SC chablis, this is gonna help a lot. I have all of my artillery as well as Merck's infantry in Praha and I'm gonna send another stack to Nove Zamki. Remember, we were allied to Bohemia's Persia, so I know that all of the troops are around here. I can go really freely into the mainland, especially with the help of our allies, but right now it's mostly me sieging them down. And I also spent some meal points to bridge the walls in Praha just to make it faster. I also don't think I need uh, supremacy over the crown over here, or maybe I do need. I'm just thinking if we should increase the absolutes even higher. This, for example, of completely no use for us. Let me just cancel this, so we're gonna get it to 95. If Praha down, I'm gonna go and send this troop straight to Nova Zamki. As soon as I take Nova Zamki and carpet siege these provinces together with my allies, I'm gonna go and yeah, start protecting Lithuania from the hordes of Bohemian armies over here. I could separate Peace Punic, but remember, I need as much work as possible, and else it's gonna be hard to siege down Spain or Persia. How about the number of the troops? Yes, in theory, they have a superior amount of the armies but the question is can they consolidate as we can because we are all bordering each other i'm losing a little bit more money than expected we are paying 35 for max and 63 for being over the force limit but i'm just making sure we don't die over here as soon as i'm gonna be sure that we are winning this war so i don't know when spain prussian troops will be defeated i'm gonna start slowly deleting the mercs okay mr Prussia, where are you i want to go and crush your troops in actual battle also by the way ai started building the monument on level 3 but it's also bad news i won't be able to build anything in this province until it's finished and i really need forts i have a single fort in this country even though we have so much of money let's take a look what if spain and us here. Can we win that easily? Oh my fall if 7.7 morale! I'm only sitting at 5.1 and even with superior discipline, I don't think we're gonna win that. Or maybe you have a chance because he has too many cannons. No, my line is breaking already. 
Because I was thinking, look, they have more cannons than infantry, but no, I, I, I'm down over here. Uh, at least we've lost a similar amount of the troops. Ah, uh, of course, I'm just stability lost. And I'm gonna actually go for the missionary strength, because we'll need to convert provinces to Protestants. I'm gonna switch to Protestant, obviously, to form Prussia. Oh yeah, that's a round two against Spaniards. I think we're gonna lose it again. But remember, they again have less and less infantry in these battles. So maybe if I rolled a little bit better than nothing, I would have any chance of winning that. But otherwise, yeah, we are getting our ass beaten here hard. Impossible. So our army cult is definitely not Prussian yet. You know, I could take the discipline here, but I really don't want to waste my meal points on that, especially that the war is pretty much won. How about our first battle against Persians? Oh my god, our, our community is really bad, but at least with the Persians we are winning that easily. It's afraid... Okay, we have our allies next by, so why don't I go and attack in Kizil Yar? And for that I'm gonna pick a better leader, so my best one here. And of course Chief Consolidate every single stack to make sure I'm fighting with my whole capacity. Just make sure I'm gonna get him wiped here. Yeah, my allies are winning with Bruce Fick. That's pretty easy. Manpower is also good. Let's see. Can we win in Kizil Yar? Think we're gonna win it easy, especially with yes, yeah, Lithuanian reinforcing. I think for 17,000 cannons in this battle, where they playing cannons only. Like that wasn't my stack, Mr. Persia. How about the worst? How close are we to be sad? Remember, if we don't want to make Lithuania and Scandinavia angry at us that they helped us and they received nothing, I need to give them some provisions in the peace. So I'm giving one to Scandinavia. Two to Lithuania because Lithuania has like 40% war participation. We have 24, so it's actually pretty good. And we are really close to peace this out. For ourselves, I'm taking these two trade centers and one more province, and that's already 50 of our expansion. So that's um, pretty much my limit. I just need to win these two battles, and that should be it with them. Out. Yes, are they be being wiped? Oh, my Persians, my <laughs> poor Persians. Let's see. It's 77 against 85, we'll just need a little bit more. And we are slowly, I think, at the point where I can get rid of one of the American companies. Alright, that's it. Moskva to Lithuania, Ingermanland to Scandinavia. This free to me. Obviously, I have to take independence in the peace deal. And this is absolutely it. Let me send this peace deal. <sighs> Thank you so much. This is just the first step. The next step is to pick up rivals. Obviously, it's gonna be Pomerania and it's not yet Poland, but we'll need to kill Poland later. Then, Mr. Ottoman, would you like an alliance? It's 3686, uh, not really doable. Let's score the provinces. Maybe I'm gonna decrease the war exhaustion first. Score the provinces. Minister Pope, uh, I'm very close to get an alliance with you. But let's we break alliance with Poland. We don't need alliance with them anymore. We're gonna conquer them, I remember. Now Pop is gonna accept. Who else? Mr. Ottoman, I really need alliance with you. It's gonna be very crucial to us, but it's... I don't think it's doable. How about France? Also not really doable. Oh, okay, yeah, because I, I could increase my deep reputation a lot, but I think it's gonna be enough. Let's for now do nothing and uh, I maybe start with deleting the mercs to save money and soon we're gonna start improving our country hard. Starting with the cruising autonomy in Magdeburg, we need to bring it very low. Let's take a try. Ottoman, Ottoman, Ottoman. Okay, on the arrival to Bohemia. Can I rival Bohemia? Not really, I'm too weak to do that. So how about I scone out Bohemia to improve relations with Mr. Ottoman? It's 4286. Why is our trust so low? Okay. Okay, it's not yet uh, enough. Now also it's time to switch the religion. So let me go here, switch straight to Protestant, become defender of faith, start coming with promises, but starting with the ones with the most development and take all of these bonuses. Missionary strength, more, 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 and don't need that, and even more. Also, cancel the artillery compatibility, it's gonna be available in four years. I would prefer to take the trade efficiency instead. This is 6786, I think I can take alliances with the Ottomans. All I have to do is to find a diplomatic reputation guy here, then take Diplo rep here, take Diplo rep here, Mr. Ottoman is 77. 86, this is so close. Can I also... Oh, screw you, Bohemia. That goes diplomatic reputation. I'm, I think I'm gonna be that close to the Alliance of Yotons. Looks 82 against 86. Mr. Ottoman, come on. As I gave him a military access, it's 85, 86. Oh, 
I do want manpower from me, Mr. Scandinavian. I don't have manpower. I'm gonna do that. Build troops with all of my manpower, accept. Then decline. We want to keep alliance with them. Never mind. Looks like Pope just rivaled them, so yeah. I guess I'm gonna go back for the improved relation guy. With 90 of absolutes, I should be able to go, yes, and then blaze the cold era. We need to use this fatal fears when I'm playing. I mean, steer of this country to bring Brandenburg to absolute victory. Just by the way, look at the amount of the lads that's slaughtering us. What are the great powers? Let me take a look. It's Ottomans with 2.7 thousand, then it's Spain with 2.4 thousand, but it's yeah, mostly colonies. Lottering has 1.6 thousand. How much? What? What amount of the troops do they have? They have right now 240,000. Very cool. Then Shun with 1.5 thousand. Portugal with 1.5 thousand. United States are finally growing. They have 1.4 thousand. France with 1.3 thousand. And Papal State with 1 thousand of development. I'd love to ally Rotaringia. I would also love to do that. But it won't happen. Yeah, I have minus 200 relations for them for unlawful territory. Maybe I could send an Aurora marriage just to make sure that they won't attack us. I have a lot of marriages all around the place, so let's use them to get some improved relations with the nation around us, because otherwise it's gonna be really tough to drop it after the war with Bohemia. Let me take a look at the map of manufacturers. Right now, soldiers households, we don't have a single soldiers household, so manufacturers are everywhere. So let's take a look at the... Okay. Why don't I go and expand infrastructure everywhere where there's a food province I can take? Oh, yes, a very good soldier's household. Number one, remember, expand infrastructure is not only giving me death cost, but it's also allowing me to build a second manufactory. Soldier's households again. And finally over here, soldier's households again. I should also take a look what I have built in all of these provinces, but that's a longer process. For now, let me spend this money. At last, I can go and change the... Oh, see, I'm granted by Lotharinga. I can change the tax meta into Empire meta, so this is be yeah, slightly higher. I really need any forts. I'll start with Sternberg, as you know, gateway to my eastern lands. Uh, I don't really want to delete any of the buildings, so why don't I go? Take the death cost. I know there is no prosperity. I know that I can't really get a bonus from the burgers. Yeah, it's not even close, but still, this is the best that I can get. I'm gonna expand the infrastructure, but only to get another death cost here. And it's 35, so it's not that bad. Let me go and develop. We have plenty of mana. Look how ahead of time we have these two technologies. Let's go and focus on admin as well. And let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 30 development. Let's use that to build a fort. Then I'm also gonna fulfill that with a soldier's household. Honestly, I'm gonna take over forts from Pomerania. So I don't need fort in Uckermark. I'll need something in the south. Why don't I go and build a fort in Altmark instead? So let's delete a cathedral and get a fort in this place. The newly conquered provinces are obviously stated, fully stated, and right now I can go and decrease the autonomy then. We have to maximize gains from this land, so our first limit is already at level 67. Oh, look, Pope is not eligible rival for Ottomans anymore, so it's again very close. So let's again change the advisor, and this time... This is enough. I think that's because the amount of the troops dropped to only 477,000 with Ottomans an ally. At least I'm sure Bohemia is not gonna kill us. So same as I'm bidding favors on Scandinavia and Pope, I will start building favors on Ottomans now. Yes, I'm already out of money. It's time for the one person loans. Which is fine, it's gonna drop our absolutes again, so I'm not worried. I accept these two cultures and that's another diet, just conquest of Stettin. So something that I plan to do anyway. Oh no, I might regret allying with Ottomans. They immediately called me into the war against Austria. But remember, they had a coalition. So now they fight with Austria, Bohemia, Persia, Spain and Great Britain. I will accept that I already regret that. Let's get stand here and let's wait for them to come. Can I get another? No, I cannot get another leader. You know what, let me also go and uh, get the discipline guy here and later I'm gonna cancel this to as soon as possible. Look, Lotharingia intervened in our war, what's the best they intervened on our side? So, well, actually we have a similar amount of the troops to these enemies, so... Oh my god, my, my Persia! Come on Persia, you can win that, look your army call this far better. At least I'm trying to be useful so I get free favors from this war, some rebels. Let me deal with the rebels and take Praha. Praha has only 1.2 thousand defenders, level 1-4, that's gonna be nothing for our armies. I'm actually gonna 
cancel this tax meta modifier, we need more admin man. I'm gonna also cancel this artillery combat ability. Let's save the powerpoints. This tool, I'm gonna cancel the diplomatic reputation thing in six years. Look, I just took one force. It's minus 34% of the world score of Bohemia. So maybe soon they will peace out and let's go and help Ottomans. Catching the 68,000 of troops of Bohemia. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know that I'm gonna get help. Oh, stop running away. You are dead anyway. It's not worth to... Oh. That's why I told you I need forts. Gotcha, Mr. Bohemia. Hello there. Is it good to fight with your ex? Subject? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm getting so many favors right now. I think I'm gonna get ooh, so many losses. At least like five favors out of this war. And is it actual wipe on the troops just to be sure? I'm gonna be as good as possible here when arriving. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. How is our war participation now? <laughs> 17%. Lovely. This tech is gonna be important. That's not only cheaper deving, but also admin efficiency, which I will need for our conquest. And I think as I'm pretty much done over here, I'll start heading north to declare Pomerania. Look, Lotharinga is killing Spain. Prussia actually pushed back the Ottomans. My boy, I love it. Yeah, guys, let me just attack Pomerania. They have 36,000 troops. I'm gonna call Scandinavia into that war to help us and that's gonna be nationalist Casus Belli because that's 50% of aggressive expansion that I'm receiving and I can't declare because that war of Emperor. Let me out of this war first. First bonus I'm gonna take from my religion is gonna be the development cost. Oh, and our ruler died which is actually bad news. The previous one was actually strict. That was 5% discipline, but this one is not bad. 3 to 5. I just need to decrease the amount of the policies I'm using. Oh look, the death cost from burgers. So why don't we go and develop a little bit? Just let's go and take a look at our developments. I will start with getting some of the princes up to 20. It's only two of them. It's uh, New Brandenburg and Prignitz. New Brandenburg, you don't really have prosperity and you won't have it anytime soon. So let me just get it uh, twice. And the neighbor province only once. Just shows how tall. AI is actually been like it's between 36 and 20 development everywhere. Second step is to get rid of devastation in the south. So we go and develop uh, this beauty once. And let me go and develop this beauty uh, twice up to 30. In the meantime, Ottoman pissed out Bohemia. So I can go and start attacking Pomerania again, Lithuania called Conquest of Stettin. Let's go. Persia is fighting hard to defend here, but they really don't have any chance. Oh boy, in the meantime, Lithuanian succession war started. So apparently, it's Poland that got Lithuania over the Pew against Lotharingia and Papal State. I'm pretty sure these two boys should win that easily. Newborn daughter usually is giving you a really good air, but in this case, it's 461. No mullets are not really Prussia. But you know what? I'm gonna take her. The boosts our prestige, remember. The more prestige we have, the less AE I'm gonna get and the better improved relations I think. So I'm just breaking different relations of this useless island with Zverten. To get the prestige that's gonna be plus two and a half force because we have low war participation. At this point I can go and peace out Pomerania. It's not gonna be much of I guess expansion. It's gonna be two trade centers for us as well as a mission that we have. Let me just take full money as well and humiliate them. Just less money instead to boost. Yes, our power production straight to 100. Now there goes a mission which is uh, more claims for us. Start calling everything and give me 50 mana for taking the province of Stettin. There we go. Ottomans only lost 1 million troops in this war for... What? Did they just took... They took nothing from Austria. They took provinces from Persia instead. Oh my god, they're pulling Persia so much. I'm really interested how it looks right now in the works on the highest incomes. It looks like Ottomans, yes, 650. Lothringa almost 400. Pope 300. United States to 80. Persia to 60. And we have Gujarat, Shum, Portugal, Spain, Great Britain, blah, blah, blah. Where the hell is Ethiopia? 155. I heard they freaking bankrupt or something. And where is Uzbek? 140. Second bonus from the religion is gonna be... I think manpower recovery speed. With all of these promises stated, and decreased autonomy, our income is already at 80 ducats. 
with 89 of the force limits. Now we need more trade power on the Lubeck trade note. Let's note slow down. I'm gonna attack Lubeck. They are freaking reformed. That should not be much of, I guess, expansion. Conquest of Lubeck. Call Scandinavia to help us and let's go and take them down. You might think, why the hell are you calling Scandinavia? Well, 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 I'm doing that for them to help me string down these small little nations. I'm hitting the mill points cap again. So let me go and develop the provinces again to decrease the war exhaustion. I think this stage is gonna be useful. Cars development up to 15, uh, once more and once more. See, <laughs> having so many points. Is there any state with close? Okay, these guys will have it, but it's fair to development, so I don't need the prosperity over there. Yeah, nothing much. Let's just keep developing our boys up to 21st with this state. Take 20, not hitting the points card anymore. This is 20, this is 26, and I think that's gonna be it for now. Enlightenment uh, start and it. Yeah, man! Uh, okay, that's surprising. Let me go and take uh, this two technologies to keep us up to date and keep the innovativeness. I still have plenty of one available for diving. I think it's high time to peace out through back. Again, not that much of, I guess, expansion. Please take this process. Remember, it's, you might think it's still development here, but it's 27, 16 and 18. So total development is already 520 and it's a hand free of income. And Scandinavia right away called me to the war against Freaky Bohemia, I have to fight them again. <laughs> Why do we pull on this losing to offering as expected? Two seconds later. Uh, what? Lotharingia is winning the war with Poland. Half occupy them, and then out of nowhere there's Commonwealth here. This is a problem because we'll need to win with this Giga Commonwealth by ourselves. And, ooh, at least Persia is expanding. Too bad it's on the coast of our ex country of Uzbek. It's only minus 30 relations right now, but Lotharingia has over us. Why don't I go and ask them for brazing rights to improve it to minus 20? That's enough to get an alliance. So, this is called by history as. What happened to my alliance with the Ottomans? Why did it break? I was helping you! And it broke before I alliance with Taringia. And we even lost like tons of trust. How? I helped you so much. So screw it, I'm gonna kill you later. If you're not me, AI Prash will kill you and you'll 830,000 of troops. Let's see the army quality of Bohemians. Oh, do not run away from me. Hello there, okay. We have far superior army, even with minus two, we've won, but with higher loss, this is fine. At last, Scandinavia pissed out Bohemia, I'm not so sure if it's good news, because we got two provinces right now from them, and that's giga amount of the aggressive expansion. There is a potential collision against us. Can we go and ally someone extra that is gonna be useful? Not really. 100 prosperity in the capital state. So, Mr. Potsdam, do you do have the university that we give? A couple of death clicks, Mr. Brandenburg, one death click, Uckermark 36, and Berlin 34. So this is fully developed. Oh look, Lusatia just broke free. This is a good opportunity for us to expand. Honestly, Catholic nations hate the guts of us already. We have a lot of allies. And with this under two provinces annexed, how much of development you're doing? 611, just almost ready to be Russia. Only 10 years left, so it's time to attack Poland. I could just call Scandinavia, Papa State, Lotharingia, but I want to have a little bit of a challenge against them. This is why I will go call only Scandinavia, so the amount of the troops on both of the sides will be still very close. That goes the coalition to start forming. Okay, I'm gonna call Lotharingia in this war. This is right away our first battle with Poland, and I think we are gonna lose it. Less morale, better discipline, but they have better general and cavalry. Oof. This is not Prussian cold for sure yet. We've lost 26,000 infantry in this battle. This is pretty bad. Get two more leaders, uh, both of them trash. I'm gonna slacken it twice and I'm gonna recruit another Merc stack. Just to do that, let me take two loans, repay our 1% and I'm gonna repay take the 1% loss again, which was enough to get ah, 
a free company. But now I have some allies that are gonna carry me, so not maybe Stackwave and Kohnberg, because the equality is still far better. Win a battle and do a significant amount of damage. Like, let's see the losers. Yes, they've lost a little bit more. I'm getting an attack in Sandok. Should be fairly easy. Let's just wait. Wait, I have to reinforce this. Now they are losing far more. So you boys go siege down Poznań. You go and siege down Tuchola. Let's see how the world is looking. Prussia looks thick as this trash looks kind of They're kind of stagnating, same as Uzbek. Shouldn't Japan, Korea, and fire you were all. This is Great Britain. I see France. I see Japan. Spain. What? the hell. There's a potential for another battle with Poland. I want to send this Marex and I want to send all of my art slides, which is 24,000. So I want to be alone over there. Thank you. How is it looking? Looking good. Uh, slowly go and reinforce with this 15. Wait a few days. Reinforce with this 15,000. Some trade efficiency. Oh my god. Oh my god. We reinforce it a little bit too late. Uh, that's just because the army quality is far better and Lutheringan quality is not that bad. Look at our amount of the losses. Because we reinforced late with infantry, we lost 20,000 of artillery and I think it was mostly ours. 25% of the war score already and what do we want? We want Krulevitz, Memel and Gdańsk as trade centers. This is the idea of peace deal we want. The perfect border. So let's take this. This is 58 on uh, the Commonwealth. So let me take this as well for reparations and as much money as we're gonna accept. 500 when the Brandenburg is ready to form Prussia as soon as I core his provinces. So our total income is already at the level of 138. Is Cornwall that rich? Nice. Mr. Pop, I need my power. Yes, that is 7,000 for us. Well, Lotharingia apparently has a lot of money. They just repaid all that. 40 of relations improved. Age of revolutions just started. This is not only perfect borders, but also form. Kingdom of Prussia! Yes, please! This is not only the new color, possibility to become a kingdom, this is not only the militarization. Maybe straight not 200. Oh, I, I got it to 100 by an accident, this is fine. Now our discipline is 137, so I told you I'm gonna have this mission over here. Let me decrease the autonomy wherever it's possible. And we also have a new ideas, which is, I guess, expansion impact, discipline, stab cost, amid addition decay, more of armies, infantry countability, manpower, recruitment time, death cost. And obviously the Prussia monarchy. We should have pros of gas capacity, but no we don't. Let me go and focus on the mill points now. Friedrich Wilhelm? Yes, not really historic. Let me go get rid of him. I want to improve my amount of the trade power in the Lübeck trade though. That's why I'm starting to build a big trade navy. <laughs> Show Elan. Alright, now I'm is 7 points to it. The enlightened reforms of Frederick the Great. I don't have an idea as to feel, so the tech cost is the Definitely my our choice. And you want to think is stability and manpower. Maybe prestige? Let's go for prestige. We also, of course, need a flagship. Light ship with ship trade power, morale. How big of a difference fleet is gonna do? A hand nine gun without our fleet. You will see that this is gonna increase to 135 instead. Okay, I think this is it. Let's see the country. 284 income, 107 balance, 184,000 of force limit. This is the perfect situation for AI to maybe destroy Bohemia and Commonwealth. So guys, this is gonna be all for today. I hope that you enjoyed another episode of the Chaotic Succession. And if you want me to do the next one, remember to leave a like on this video because if you hit 4,000 likes, it's coming. And of course, let me know in comments what you'd like to see next. I really think about France to make them revolutionary. Remember to subscribe to this channel to get notified about this next video. See you very soon. <laughs>